Hi, and welcome to Assets Tech Review. I'm going to be doing the software review for the Cyborg uh, RAT7 software. So, to start off, I'm going to very quickly show you guys how to download the software and drivers. Um, it's much better to do this rather than use the disk that comes in the box, and I'm going to show you now literally how quick it is. So, you open up your internet page, go to Google. When you get to Google, type in MADCATS, M-A-D-C-A-T-Z. Click on the top link. Choose your product. Uh, yeah, okay, Cyborg. Then in Cyborg, products, gaming mouse, RAT7. Once you've done that, downloads. Choose your operating system. So in my case, uh, Windows. 764 choose your product and download those two files so we click here see very fast okay I suppose your internet connection does have an element in the speed of the download and having a 100 meg connection kind of is cheating a little bit but the files are not big so you should be able to download them very quickly. Um, once you've got them installed, your mouse will start working. And then you are going to start seeing this software here. Now at a glance, the software is pretty cool. We have four headings here. And before I jump into the cool stuff, I'm going to direct you to the support area. And I'm going to tell you that if you want to do any custom key mappings, macros or anything like that, you really do need to read the programming manual here. Uh, this here basically explains to you how it's done because at a glance it is really not an easy thing to figure out. So to start off, setting your DPI, pretty awesome. The old crappy mouses, slightly better, good bit better, awesome. And then you've got here 56. So you can choose which you want, mode 1, mode 2, mode 3, mode 4. And there is a mode button on the mouse, so when you push that you cycle through the modes. So you can basically set your custom modes for different games and just flick between them instantaneous by just tapping that button. So that's kind of cool. So for me, mode 1, we're going to stick with 56. Now, here is a very cool, oh, I forgot to say, hit apply when you're done. Here is a very cool thing. This is the red button on the side of the mouse, which you can see here. That red button um, basically is your sniping button. And what you do is, when you set your DPI here, so this being 56, that being 0, so let's say 10%. All right. Now, if you watch my mouse arrow, I'm moving on my mouse map from left to right. Okay. You can see it's pretty sensitive. Now I'm going to push that red button. You see what happens? That's exactly what that button does. You're in game, you're running around, you want to be able to turn around, shoot nice and quickly. But you see some guy miles and miles and miles away, you want to get that bullet right between his eyebrows. You hit that sniping button, um, although you're moving your hand left to right like mad, basically makes your aim an awful lot more precise, a lot easier to hit that target exactly where you want to hit it. So that's really cool. Now, the programming area looks nice. You can see there's three, uh, if, you, if you want to say, profiles, mode one, mode two, mode three. Um, creating them is pretty easy. Basically, you just hit new, give it a name, work away, hit save when you're finished, problem solved. You can test your profiles in this test window, so when you actually click the, the buttons you can see what the buttons are doing. That's kind of cool. But what's complicated is trying to figure out all of these here. Right. Um, at a quick view, fallback, I'm not really sure what fallback is, I'm, I'm going to be straight out there with you. I think it means you can preset an area of the screen where the mouse cursor jumps back to. So when you push a button, um, the fallback button, let's say you're, you've got an important button that you need to push down here and your mouse arrow is over here and you don't want to move your hand all the way back down. You tap the fallback button, it goes boom, you hit your button. That's what I think that's for. Uh, latched is to do with macro looping. 
when you hit that, basically your macro will repeat over and over and over and over and over until you hit another key or the key that uh, initiates the macro. Unprogrammed, basically in English means uh, reset to default. Button, program with just a simple button. And what else do we have? We have new key presses, which is basically the same thing, except you can put a few of them in. Then we have new macro, so macro command, crouch, reload, save. Or e. There we go. And what else have we got? We have. Yeah, advanced command. So, best way to explain this would be to prime a grenade or to prime a frag. So, prime a frag grenade. And the grenade is generally speaking the G key. It usually takes like three, three and a half seconds to prime. So, one, two, three, throw. And there you go, you can see it. Hold it down for 2.544 seconds and release. So, that's your grenade primed and thrown. Pretty cool. There we go. Easily done. And uh, let me see, anything else on that list? Yeah, every time you make a, a macro or a command, it goes down here. So you can quickly choose it again to pop it onto other keys. You don't have to do that for every single key. That's kind of cool. And that's it. Do nothing, delete the unused commands. So that basically, basically covers it all. Um, so that's what I mean. At a glance, it's complicated, but once you know what you're doing, it is actually very easy. And that's where that uh, programming manual comes in. Do run your eyes over it because it does make life a lot easier uh, if you're getting stuck. Now, I have done a little bit of brink uh, playing with this mouse, and it is very cool. The um, sniping button is a little tricky to get the hang of. But um, after a while, you slowly do get it. I, I do need a bit more practice, to be honest with you. But the one thing I did notice was the side scroll button didn't work. And that's a pity. I don't know if that's um, a, a software compatibility thing or if it's to do with the game not supporting it. But the fact that it doesn't work tells me that there are probably going to be games out there that this scroll um side thumb scroll button isn't going to work on which is a pity because it's a pretty cool thing you know it'd be really nice to, to be able to i don't know instead of using your main mouse wheel to cycle through your weapons then maybe use this one here to do custom macro commands or something cool like that pity it didn't work but anyway that's that for you um let me just see if it's possible for you guys to actually see a little bit of gameplay in action. And, uh, just basically to show you how that snug thing works. So we're playing Brink. Uh, Okay. Okay, so here we go. Pushing snipe button. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I got, got to remember to release the snipe button when I'm finished. Ah, bummer. It's holding the snipe button now, so got a little bit more control. A lot of pressure on the mouse when I push it down, so, which makes it a little tricky to um, to actually move around. And the problem is when you're holding it, you, you actually need to remember to let go. But, um, ah, 
yeah, where are you? Where are you? Here we go. Yeah, I'm going to need more practice with this sniping button. But you get the idea. Pretty cool. A lot of fun. The mouse is uh, it definitely is a very attractive thing to look at if you're into sharp edges, kind of like Lamborghini style. But um, yeah, very cool. I don't know. I mean, I've, I'm sitting. It's sitting here beside my uh, Razer Imperturator. Um, the Razer definitely is a lot more ergonomic. It feels more right. So I think it's just a matter of getting used to it and what you're into because this is definitely sharp. It is definitely heavier. Um, it's more feels more solid. A, a little trickier to to you know takes a little bit more time to get used to I guess is what I'm trying to say and I'm, I'm so used to my old razor that um, I, I don't want to be too quick to say no get a razor because this is a very cool mask so I think I'll play around with it a bit more and then I'll stick my comments up on the video page and let you know what I think thank you all for watching take care I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the review happy days bye